Alright, so I got good news for SPM fans. He is up for parole, meaning that he could be released in a couple months. Mr. Carlos Coy has been locked up since 2002. What was he locked up for? Yeah, um, nothing too serious, but he has hired me as his lawyer. And once he gets out of prison, he's going to go on tour. There's going to be a documentary about him directed by Roman Polanski. And listen, SPM gets a bad rap, but he's a good guy. When I was six years old, he taught me how to pee. I didn't even ask him to. That's how nice of a guy he is. He brings the boom. And listen, whatever you guys do, don't look at the court documents. Just watch the Vlad TV interview with Baby Bash because, according to him, there was no evidence. 45 years with no evidence. And sure, you could point to the son he had with a 13-year-old, the testimony of a 9-year-old, the witnesses who saw him dropping off the victim at her middle school, or the six other middle school girls who said he deedled them, and see this for what it really is, racism. Yeah. Even though I know he got framed, and, and I know the whole story, yeah. you, you know, the, the jury, the 10 white juries, Members and a judge, and they don't know the story at all. Go con convict them, right? Four women came out there and testified. Jury convicted Coy on Saturday of sexually assaulting a nine year old. Jordan Dominique Odom. Odom was only 13 when she began a relationship with Coy, and only 14 when she gave birth to him. During their relationship, Coy, in his early 20s, knew Odom was in seventh grade. I was talking about the 13-year-old person who got impregnated, which is my mother. Baby Bash wasn't there for my situation. You know what I'm saying? My mom was 13. How the fuck could he be there? And, you know, my mom was young. And, you know, nine times out of ten, my, my dad fucking knew it. He's charged fuck, up. I just heard about SPM, it. Dog. Oh, it's, it's like, like that. A... Fuck Dope House Records, OTR Records. Hey, Spence out. Don't fire me, Solis. Fuck SPM, dog. I seen the paperwork, dog. I'm cool, dog. Another six-digit number. The Texas uh, Department of Corrections. Sing a different tune. Don't mess with Texas. American Cholo, racist. Texas prison stories, racist. Lefty gunplay, double racist. The victims and the father who have no reason to lie and also happen to be Hispanic, racist. Famous criminals, not racist. If I had friends, then I'm sure some of them would be black. When I pound off, I totally look at the e-bony section. SPM would never hurt kids. He loves kids. He's got a JoJo Siwa poster in his jail cell. She's like 21, come on. And he dropped that kid off at her middle school because he cares. So what if she was pregnant and gave birth to someone who looks exactly like him? Totally coincidental. And just like Baby Bash said, they didn't want a Mexican topping the charts, unless it was Baby Bash or Selena Gomez or literally tons of Mexicans have topped the charts, but SPM was targeted. But Donald Trump has to keep this racist way because it was the racist that put him in the White House. It's because he's woke. He doesn't like Donald Trump. And listen, I'm woke too. I would definitely fuck Caitlyn Jenner. And YouTube, please don't delete this video. I'm being sarcastic. I would never defend a Chester like SPM. He's in the news because Lefty Gunplay dissed him. This woman here was working with him and one of her friends was like, hey, you should read his paperwork and she cut ties with him. Mm -hmm. He has a girl pregnant that's under 18 years old and, she, and he had a baby with someone that was under 18 years old, yes or no? Yeah, when he was 22, he had a baby with someone who was 13. The story we all heard from Baby Bash was that he was at a strip club, he impregnated the stripper, and she turned out to be 13. Well, when you put it like that, it makes it seem more forgivable. I mean, of course, to work at a strip club, she must be precocious, looking old for her age. And how would he know? Um, because she's fucking 13. You should be able to tell. With that Josh Giddy dude, he was at a 21 plus club and brought home a 17 year old and people gave him grief for that. Why didn't you check her ID? I don't know, she was ordering drinks at the bar. But it turns out the girl SPM impregnated didn't actually meet him at a strip club. A bunch of dope boys, including SPM, would pick her up at a middle school. He had encountered her multiple times. It wasn't just a one night stand. And that's in the court documents. He used to drop her off at a middle school. And I've said this before, but I can't stress it enough. 
SPM impregnated this girl. Her whole high school experience was gone because she had to change diapers. She didn't go to the police. All she wanted was child support. If this dumbass would have just given her 500 bucks a month, then he could have avoided prison. When she pursued him for child support, the courts made the connection that she was a minor when he impregnated her. These laws are made for a reason. The age of consent is 18 because at that age, you have your diploma. You can get a job, live on your own. A 13-year-old can't live on their own. Now you want them to take care of a baby, and you're not even going to support her. That's terrible. And when he was out on bond, his bond got revoked because he was seen with two 14-year-olds in a motel, and then he dropped them off in the woods. They had to call for help and explain what happened. Seeing how many chances SPM has gotten, it wouldn't surprise me if he did the same thing again. The worst thing he did was eat a nine-year-old's cookie. Yes, he deserves to be in prison. For the money that I get from rapping I lost the case, but how did I expect to win When my jury didn't have one Mexican And it pisses me off how SPM plays the race card Like he's Nelson Mandela or some shit A political prisoner Get the fuck out of here. Houston is like 50% Latino. It's not like you were in Alabama. The jury had Latinos and they unanimously decided that you were guilty because I don't know, there's living proof that you fucked a 13 year old. And what the fuck does a nine year old have to gain from this? And as Baby Bash said, Carlos was messing with her mom. The sad reality is that pedophiles usually go through the parents to get to the kids. Look at Ian Watkins. The mom did ask SPM for 20 grand to not go to the police. She just wanted him to leave the family alone. And that's a sketchy mom to try to look at this like an opportunity. But in my opinion, it doesn't take away any credibility from the little girl's story because she has to have a crazy imagination to describe what she described. Even if she was lying, there's still eight other girls who claim SPM deedled them while they were in middle school. And sure, his music is good. I still listen to it. In his prison interviews, he comes off down to earth, sure. A lot of these pedophiles practice how they answer their questions. They try to make themselves seem as innocent as possible. Of course, these guys aren't going to admit that they like kids. It's always a conspiracy against them. Sociopaths tend to be charismatic. They're good liars. Look at Ted Bundy. You would have no idea that he was guilty. A long time ago, it ceased to be an issue as to whether or not I was innocent or guilty. The issue is now is can we pin it on it? Can we? Can we follow through and, and, and maintain our rep reputation as law enforcement officers? And I'll tell you, as long as they attempt to keep their heads in the sand about me, there's going to be people turning up in canyons and there are going to be people being shot in Salt Lake City because the police there aren't willing to accept what I think they know and they know that I didn't do these things. You know, I used to think that. I never would have thought uh, even the DA and people knowing that I didn't do this would still want me in prison just because they don't like a Mexican rapper blowing up and they're tolerant fuck the police at every concert. You know, I was in a bad war with the cops in H-Town. I mean, I'll never do that again. Now my, the cops are my friends. In fact, everywhere I go, I'm going to have some laws with me. But in those days, I was warring big time with the cops, and the cops ain't nothing but frontline soldiers for the DAs. So I didn't realize that I was really going against the entire justice system. I was just, you know, being raised in a black neighborhood, I just saw how bad cops treat, treated my friends and treated me, you know, because I'm, I'm with my friends, and, and it was just very uh, racist-ass cops, so I didn't like cops. Uh, innocence versus people... innocence. I'm sorry? Honest. How do you think that the people that set you up feel right now, like seeing all the you're getting? Well, you know, I, I, I really don't know the motivation because the girl said she thought it was a dream. And about SPM, I do separate art from the artist. When I say I don't like Michael Jackson, it's not because of his allegations. I just don't like his music. I still listen to R. Kelly and SPM, even though I've accepted that they're terrible people. The only time I can't separate art from the artist is with Davi Vanity, because his music sounds like kids' music, but with sexual themes. It's obvious what he was doing, and sadly, he's still free, and so is Roman Polanski. 
Anyway, if SPM does become free, he'll probably be fine in Texas, but these California dudes are definitely gonna jump him. I'm out.